hey my friends Jean-Serge Gagnon here so today we're going to talk about migrating your MLSP your my lead system pro blog from the sites platform to another wordpress site so we're going to talk about setting up another wordpress site and we're not going to go into details of you know plugins but I'm going to kind of cover what I had to do because I actually did my blog setup I migrated last night I went to bed at like 12 30 it was all ready it all done and this morning I started recording my episode to show you how to do that and I deleted my old blog my my migrated site so it's okay because I still have the old site I was able to reset it and everything but I messed up completely and I had to restart but I'm going to be doing that right now so that's a plus side of it is I just did it yesterday I'm going to do it again I'm going to show you the process we're going to do it together so you can do the same thing on your MLSP blog site so just just in case you're wondering MLSP blog is uh, basically an MLSP uh, website is MSP sites you if you're in, in MLSP you're going to see this message right there on your blog it's going to say migration it's going to go down on August 31st so we're going to talk about that how to migrate that and even though there's training on there which is awesome of course you want to look at that training but I'm just going to show you what I'm doing what I did and maybe that'll help you as well all right so we're going to talk about that in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets all right so you have an MLSP sites blog that you've been posting and you are seeing this message whenever you want to create a new post you see this this message that's oh my god that's going away it's going out if you're not sure what MLSP is MLSP is a is a platform to show you how to use attraction marketing personal branding I mean this is the website here basically uh you can go in here you got a whole bunch of training let's just go this is what you get when you when you sign up to MLSP you get this you get um all these different trainings you know how to uh, social media as you can see there's a ton and a ton and a ton of different trainings in here traction marketing Facebook live Facebook challenges you know copyright co copywriting training uh CRM amazing content Facebook messenger the Facebook platform the other platforms in Insta Instagram Pinterest Snapchat Twitter video marketing blogging uh automated webinars I mean there's tons and tons of training and you know depending on what uh what what plan you get you also might have access to other training um I also purchase courses anyways it's a platform but there's an easy five steps here it's a really really good to learn how to grow online and what personal branding is attraction marketing I mean I teach that stuff a little bit but this is meant for that that's all they do that's all they teach and they have tools they have tools like a CRM which is a cause customer relationship manager which is where you kind of have all your leads in there and you can put comments in there for each person whenever you make a phone call you can say I called them uh whenever they, <laughs> they tell you you know the name of their kids or they tell you when their birthday is or any notes like that you put them in there so that if you call them six months later you don't have to remember all that you can just go in there and, and see what you what the conversation was about last time right and you can set up some follow-ups and you know reminders to call a certain person that kind of stuff right that's what the CRM is that's one of the tools the other tool they have is funnelizer which is a funnel creation engine so it allows you to create a page a landing page to get people to join your list for example to get to buy a product from you to get a, a free ebook or that kind of stuff and they also have amazing amazing um they have actually here they have campaigns uh profit campaigns uh, let's say lead gen campaigns so they have these these that you can use to generate your own to get your own leads so you, for example you can give this for free to somebody right this particular training here you give them this training for free and they actually have access to this all they got to do is give you your name their name and email and then if they do that they'll get to this this uh, page here after they get their email you get this basically gives them a free training in this case it's an hour 21 minutes good evening a free training so anyways that's what MLSP is okay that's what my lease is pro if you've got a sites blog then you're going to recognize this here if I go to M my sites blogging platform you're going to recognize this message here that they're saying they're phasing out 
by August 31st you got to have migrated so I I've been kind of working on that for a while I've been kind of trying to find okay where can I migrate my my thing I mean I could go to wordpress.org I could go to probably uh, there's probably hundreds of them that I could actually use and most of them there they you got to pay five ten bucks twenty bucks a month to have a custom domain and I needed a custom domain and I'm already building another site so I thought you know what I'm going to add that as a feature to my site right so that that's what I did so um I did um bl blogging support here so we're going to show you a couple things first you need to have a wordpress site to migrate to right if you want to keep your blog and you want to keep your old old links all all working you got to migrate your data and then you got to set up a new blog site with the same uh with the same uh link right so all that that's kind of what I did because I have Jean-Serge Gagnon I even have an older blog success with JS which I want to migrate over as well and all those links you know Jean-Serge Gagnon.com slash um course income secrets uh, 150 dash whatever that link is working now and if I just migrate it to wordpress.org and I don't pay for it or whatever it's not going to work because that link won't exist anymore right but if you migrate it properly set up a domain everything will still work just like magic it's just awesome so that's what I want to show you because I need to do that so I'm going to show you that so the first thing you got to do is you got to get a wordpress a wordpress site to use to set up your blog you know one thing I completely forgot and I'm gonna have to do that right now I'm gonna go to my webcam it's gonna take me a few minutes while I talk I'm just gonna click a few buttons here and I'm gonna actually do that in just a second it'll take a few moments uh, to do this but I gotta start a process here and I gotta wait for it to finish before I can actually do what I wanted to do I forgot to check one thing I fixed a bug on the website and I forgot to update it but anyways that's the point so okay so if we go back to say uh WordPress here I'm just going to go back to the um go back to the webcam and my shared screen so I'm not going to show you this just just yet I'm going to wait for that to finish but I want to show you in your dashboard see if you're in your dashboard of your my lead system pro mlsp sites back office you want to create a backup of your data so what you got to do is you can see that yeah you can see that on the side here you got all the menu right under tools you want to go under tools you want to go into export you want to click on that export so that's number one you want to create a backup of your everything I would you could do different things but I just do the whole, all content I create a down then you just click the button there the download export file right now that'll generate a file and it'll prompt you to save it to your computer after it's done right so depending on how many posts you have how many pages you have how many images you've uploaded uh, how how much data you have it, it takes a certain amount of time but it's pretty quick right as you can see it was pretty quick so then you just save it someplace and you keep it that's your backup right you want to make sure you keep that now the next thing you got to do we're going to have to look at if you go to your plugins you go to your plugins and you have to look at what's active so you because whatever's there and it's not active doesn't matter because you've never used it unless well no because if it's not used now then it doesn't matter that you used it in the past you might have data from past posts or past things you did that won't matter when you try to import them but that's yeah so that's what uh, that's what so you got to look at the active you got to kind of list these or we can do that later um one of the things I found is that some of these of course the MLSP uh plugins they don't I don't know that you can ins install them in a in a outside of MLSP WordPress but I guess I could ask um, James Fennell on that but anyways for now I'm just saying if you have uh if you have plugins that you activated that you use heavily you might want to look at their configuration and you might want to see if there's anything else you got to do to back up right but for me I didn't really have anything special I did enable a few things but I didn't really use them that much it doesn't matter to me they're not that big a deal let me just go see if that is done over here got to go back to see if this is finished that's good it's finished all right perfect so now uh hopefully if I go back to this everything's going to be good well we'll see if this is all good so now let's just go back to let's go back to the website where you need to set up a, a wordpress domain right so on on clicky course what I did is I set up wordpress as a separate feature I mean if you look at the plans on clicky course you can see there's a whole bunch of different 
features in here right so there's a if I look for a blog I mean there's a your own blog site you can have it and the free plan you can have the wordpress blog but if you want your own domain you'd have to go to the beginner plan and in this case if you're watching this and you're setting up an account on there and you want to use wordpress and that's what brought you to Click eCourse just send me a message and I'll upgrade you for free to this plan so that you can have your own domain if you want right so don't don't just go ahead and message me let me know all right so I just want to show you so now what you do is you just click on the register you of course put in an email address there password and then you register otherwise I'm going to just log in because I already have an account obviously and I'm just going to log in here and I'm going to show you how to uh create your wordpress site so now I just go to my uh, profile and I go to blog I just click on that and then I'm just going to say okay this is my blog I just give it a name here I'm gonna the user is normally your user id that you set up in click eCourse but you can have it different in my case the when you first create your account you're gonna have a user or something 122 or whatever right you can set a different user here for your admin this is your admin user your admin email should be an email that matches uh, your avatar in gravatar right because that's being used and I'm just going to put wp here as a user and put my password in there and then I'm just going to click the button to activate now when that what that does is it actually creates a brand new what we call a docker image anyways there's details but it creates a brand new environment for your wordpress that's completely independent from everything else on the website so I'm going to just uh not now okay so now once you've got your um <clears throat> your blog set up this is it that's all you got to do your blog is set up now well I mean the home is set up so I I can go here and I can actually see the blog this is my blog the default domain is blog.clickycourse with the user id and this is my blog it's right there I got a blog so now what I do is I click on manage your blog site and over here I'm going to put this because that's what I set it up as I'm going to remember me I'm going to log in <clears throat> so now once you've got the, the 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 site created there's a few things you want to do first because you want to sure I'll add it because you want to make sure that your blog is um going to be compatible with what you did in my lead system Pro, right but in my case I had a few things that I did first of all in the settings I want to go to permalinks I want to make sure that my links are the post name itself otherwise it won't uh, they won't map right so I save that uh the other thing is I could probably change my profile to be like you know blue right I like this blue right whatever um then uh then my gravatar is right here like I was saying this email this this image is from gravatar so it's based on your email address if you don't have one here you can click on this to go change it but I'm just going to update it so now I have my uh update the other thing you're going to notice is it talks about these um these these it'll tell you like if you go to the dashboard under updates you'll see on your blog what I mean right now there's an update to 542 you might see a different update when you go there's different plugins different themes you can update all these things just by clicking the update now here it'll update the wordpress back end to the newest version right automatically that's all just you know you don't have to you don't have to do anything and that's that's it if I go back to the updates there's still more there's a plugin here I'm just going to update the plugins and then I'm also going to go back to the updates and then I'm going to update the themes which doesn't really matter these themes I'm not going to use but I'm just updating them just so that these updates are all everything's happy about updates right so that's kind of how simple it is to do an updates so if you want to install a new plugin if I go in plugins I I installed a few plugins I don't remember which one it was but then I got to go add new here and I don't remember which ones I installed I know I did a uh, word jetpack for wordpress so I'm going to install that one <clears throat> and if I do a so if I if I look yeah for example if I go here I can see right here I have an easy social feed right easy social feed so I can go in here and I can search for easy social is it easy social feed yeah I think it was right easy social feed yeah 
so now it shows me everything that kind of has that match now one thing I get, you gotta make sure you check is when you look through here you want to make sure that there are a lot of installs and that they're that they're they have good ratings you know or anything that has just a few installs you don't really want to use right it's better not to right so I mean in this case I'm just going to install <coughs> it doesn't really matter because I don't really I don't it doesn't really matter in terms of how my blog is set up I can migrate to this new one I'm just going to install this this one here um and uh, there's another one I have uh in, in my blogs which is what would Seth Godin do so I'm going to do this Seth Seth Godin so I'm going to install this one this one here I want to install this one and okay so now I have installed plugins I can activate my social media share and my Seth Godin I just want to activate them <coughs> apply both I didn't I didn't have to click I could have just clicked the little activate right there so he's doing that right now let's just give it a second to activate those so now as you can see there's new things that show up here under there's a new ultimate social media pack uh stay on the safe side receive our updates I'm not going to worry about that right now but probably I could I could but under settings you see a what would Seth go so golden do right here if I go back to my other one I can look at what I had in here under settings what would Seth golden do and I can just take all this copy it because that doesn't actually come in with your backup so that's one example of something right I'll just put that in here and then I'll just get this one and I'll put that in here too all right so there so now I want to do this save that <coughs> and there you go okay and ultimate social thank you yeah that's good okay so now if I go into my tools and I do an import whoops tools oh that's right here import so now I can do an import let's just get that out of there and I can just a wordpress import right here I just say install now <coughs> and that installs the plugin and then I just click run importer and when I what I'm going to do is I'm going to go navigate to the backup it says up to 10 megs so if your backup is bigger than 10 megs you might not be able to get it under my backups uh sites wp my shell service guide I'm going to import that so now while that's doing that it's going to take a little bit see down the bottom I don't know if you can see it's uploading right there it says a certain percentage right uh so that's uploading now and then once that's done it'll uh, give me an option to uh to um uh, an option to sp to specify what user to map the import to because you might have a different user in your sites in the MLSP sites account that you're using here um and so I just set it up as a uh, uh, myself so right now while this is doing my, the upload of course you can't do anything while the upload's happening you got to at least wait till the upload finishes before you can go to the next thing and I'm just trying to I'm just kind of looking at the time here to see where we're at so we're uh, almost we're 19 almost 19 minutes in so yeah so that's importing that's going to take a little bit let me see if I can show you something else in the meantime when you go back to your um, sites here you're going to see there's pop-up I'm not really sure what uh, what plugin that is because I didn't I didn't find it there's bloom I think that's a paid plugin because I can't find it either beehive pro I'm not sure divi I'm um, is a paid plugin so that's the thing you've got you're gonna have lots of things that might have been paid things that MLSP sites had set up had given you for free that you could use uh which if you want to have you have to go online and get it and install it but you don't chances are you probably don't really need that because all you really care about in a blog is to have your featured image your header and your text more or less and maybe a video in there right for me that's that's all I care about right <clears throat> so now let's just uh, see what's uh, what's all this this is oh the pop-up settings yeah, I'm not really sure I have to look at what all this is but um if I go into my let's see what else is there appearance yeah the theme I have is the dv so I'm going to change that oh I wanted to go into here Oh, the import all oh, right I forgot about that 
<coughs> let me just go and fix that I'm going to go and fix another bug that I thought was fixed which obviously is not so I'm going to go fix that right over here uh, 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 uh. that's too bad because that means that we have to wait for the upload again and I gotta do this cleanup I gotta fix that so that it doesn't happen obviously um, to anybody else there we go <clears throat> okay so that fixes that let's go back to here go back to the webcam share the screen again okay so if I go back here I gotta do another import I gotta click on here again no this is not something that's happened to you it's just a, a bug that I have that I have that, I'm, that will be fixed most likely I'm going to import this again okay so that's going to import again um so let's see let's go back to Click eCourse so you know that Click eCourse is a site where you have uh, the ability to have courses on there you can actually upload courses you can create your own courses and your courses can be uh, courses that are just videos that you have already on YouTube or on Facebook you can just put a link to that video and it'll create a, a course for you with that link it'll, it'll you can even make it download the video depending on which plan you're on so that you're you're not hostage by Facebook or YouTube or Vimeo if they ever shut down your account or delete your video it doesn't matter the link doesn't work anymore you'll have a copy of the video locally in uh, Click eCourse right so that's one of the things that uh, you can have so whenever you're in here you just go courses and you just say gotta wait because it's the upload is taking up my lots of my internet so you go here and uh and then you will see the existing courses that are on the site you can actually obviously you can buy some courses or some of them are free you can actually see right here if I say show price like I said it's slower because I'm uploading right now but if I can say show price and then you can see the prices right so the ones that are free will say free so you can actually get these these for free right the ones that are free and lots of them are just like a few bucks right the, the 12 steps like I can sort them by the price right uh price price most where's the price shortest longest oh least expensive so the free ones are all these videos right all these ones <laughs> and then after that five dollars for these uh, online strategies I did there's uh, then there's a bunch of different uh, courses LinkedIn productivity list building Zen mastery ultimate niche Instagram so that's the course now when you want to create your own course you just come here again courses right and you click on the create new course and by the way you see this little thing down here whenever I visit the page if I well I'm not gonna reload but this kind of bumps up and down but if you click it it'll actually show you the videos that are available for that page for training right so there's course intro there's course intro for users if you're in and then there's how to create a course right here so it kind of explains all that but I can just show you right now you just cr click this link right here and then you can create a course you just give it a title a summary a details then you go through the steps or you click on the next 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 and click on done when you're done that allows you to create a course after that you just have to add lessons <coughs> to your course so we'll get that later but I just kind of want to show you that again to get to your blog you click on your little profile picture you click on the blog tab and it shows you the blog your blog setup you can delete your blog if you want but that's we're not going to do that I did that yeah <laughs> I did that today and I anyway so now once the upload is complete it asks you what do you want to do with the post who do you want to assign the post to for me it's all my blog so I'm just going to assign everything to my uh, my uh, my uh, to, to me and I also want to download and import file attachments so I'm actually going to click on submit on that this is going to take a few minutes as well because it's now importing inside of WordPress it's creating a new post for every single post it's creating a new image for the images that I imported it's doing all that for me creating my blog as it was before right uh, well not as it was before I mean it's importing the data so the text and the heading and the and the images right the actual layout you know your your menus and your 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 widgets and your social share icons and those old things those those aren't being imported they're not part of the they're not part of the export at least not all of it 
so that's uh, okay so now we're doing that that'll take like I said a few minutes so we can go back here um but uh yeah so this site here I don't know if it's alive or not I'm wondering oh I guess the the Seth Godin one is right here now but there's yeah the, all the other posts aren't live yet they're just being imported while they're important I guess they don't actually exist on the site but that's okay um and yeah we don't want to do it we can't do anything else while this is happening but uh let's see now what else can I show you I can go back through here um if I look at there's a lot of settings one of the things I want to look for is the the header tools tools what do we have in tools domain mapping yeah so there's a domain mapping here but that's not going to be used in your in your new uh, at least not on Click eCourse but um that's probably available on other sites because it depends on whether they're using what do they call it they're using well it's a WordPress sites versus standalone I guess but uh, yeah that's not a, not a big deal okay under plugins I just want to see mm -mm -mm. no settings let me see general right yeah so that's the other thing under settings you might have changed things like your reading right is it a static page or is it your latest posts how many posts do you want to show the full text or the summary and then there's a uh, under writing you might have changed some things so you want to go through these things and make sure they match on the other side right uh, but like I said right now we're still importing I'm not going to be able to show you probably the whole thing unless we go really long we're at 26 minutes now maybe we can uh but that's basically the it's going to import all your pages all your posts all your media all your comments and it's I don't know what projects are I never used them but I guess they're it's another way to organize things right uh so your appearance is your plug your themes and your plugins your backgrounds everything else and then on the pop-up that's a plugin I have these are plugins I have so that's why they're showing here but if I go to easy social feed for example I never I don't even know I'll look at that all right okay so that's another mm -hmm. I've never I don't even think I've ever been there oh that's what that is okay that's a social feed <clears throat> so you can put like a block on one of your widgets at the bottom or on the sides that shows your say your Instagram feed right probably a couple of different platforms Facebook Instagram Facebook page like oh, okay yeah so stuff like that so this is still importing it's not it doesn't take it's not going to take that long I think it'll be done in a minute or so but uh, right now it's still going and what can I show you as well I wish I could show you other stuff actually I probably can if I go to my other if I go to my other site my debug environment here's my debug look this is my debug environment I got another of course for my development I do this but this is another site I have here um if I go to my blog here on this site <coughs> this is just a uh oh that didn't work <laughs> I guess that's why it's debug right with a debug environment sometimes things don't work I probably could try to re to deploy the um the new version on there oh no that's still working it's still going I probably could do that let's go back to my uh, webcam only and I'm gonna go see if I can't just uh, maybe I just deploy the version because that's one of the things I didn't do uh 299 hey eh? oh I did okay so let's see what else is going on here <clears throat> I'm just gonna go f see if I can fix that Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so um oops I'm just looking at some of this stuff here nope nope nothing here so that's good so that means if I do this hmm this is very weird actually maybe I just do this oh hey yeah let's show you that how that works 
so one of the things you can do here let's share the screen again yeah so one of the things you can do is you can actually delete your blog once you're happy with it all and or you don't want it or you haven't used it you can actually delete your blog you just go here to again to the blog right and you just click on the delete your blog now I want to make sure I'm on the right yeah that's the right one because that's what I did earlier I deleted my live blog instead of my test blog and that's why I have to re-import it but to delete your blog you just click on this and then it'll actually ask you to confirm right are you sure this is completely tear down the server and delete all the data it's irreversible so make sure you've downloaded before right so you can say no and it'll just close the thing but if you click on yes it actually deletes the blog the whole thing the data and the back end the database the ser the server for that for your blog so that's like that's what I said it's destructive now when it comes back it says there's no blog right so I'm going to just do again just reset up I wonder if this will because it was broke right just now and I'm wondering if this will actually fix it so now we're activating the blog again we're creating a new blog on our site uh, of me that's in my debug environment it's going to be a brand new uh, just like we did earlier and uh, we're going to see whether this particular uh, instance is going to work because like I said this is my debug environment so I'm not really sure but let's see if I access my blog uh, the blog's there let's see if I can manage it and it's this is just to wish GSG and perfect okay so it's all good so now what I wanted to show you here is in the appearance under themes you can actually go and say add new theme right and you can you can go in the popular ones there's 3800 popular ones right I actually like uh like this one there's a news one or something right this one here so I'm going to install this one I'm actually going to have to do that on the other let's see where we're at on the other one uh we're still working okay so I'm going to act then after that I can activate but you can also do live preview right now I don't have anything in there so I'm just going to click on activate um and you can also um any of these themes right you can also uh have them there and use them and switch between them and that kind of stuff and you can go through all the themes and look at what the themes you like best what your setup but you if you've been using MLSP sites you already know this because it's similar right um now if I go into my my blog now if I go back here and I just say access my blog <laughs> now you see that it's a different looking thing right <laughs> it's got the look of that there's no there's not no content so it's kind of hard to see what exactly happens when there is content that's why we're doing the other uh, import here and we'll see how that is and I'll be able to show you because I I did make this live yesterday I actually had it set up and it was all live yesterday it was all done I had it going and I like I said this morning I deleted it <laughs> but um the other thing is if we go back to manage right I'm gonna manage this under plugins again it was the same thing over here I can click on add new and I can search for Seth right what would Seth Golden do this is how you install that plugin right if I look for a uh, social feed social share I can just do this one install this one social media share and social wordpress social sharing uh, what's the other one all right there's an exit pop-up I want to have a pop-up 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 right so again when you look through this you look at how many installs there are right then that kind of gives you an idea that it's a good a good one to use right so if you look through here you're going to see see look this has seven only seven comments this only has 40 well 220,000 uh 16 there's some that have very little installs right so the ones that have very little installs, unless you know the person or who did it or whatever you probably don't want to use it right this is 700 that's not a lot so but that's the thing there's all these plugins you got to be careful which one you install because they do have access to your environment to your data right not your data outside of the wordpress but inside your wordpress uh, page right all right so now we have that one
mm, I can just delete these I don't want these pages delete this post and I can just you know create a new post I can edit and this is one of the things with the wordpress the new with the new sites this is blog one welcome whoops well welcome right so that's a blog just publish that then I click on this little uh, thing to go back I create another one I'll call it blog two just so you see what the, that looks like block two hey there <coughs> and then I go back here and I'm going to look at another one I'm going to say blog three blog three the third one oops the third one there you go and now when I go back to the blog now we're going to see if I just reload this you see blog one two three right I mean it repeats it but if I had some images you would actually see them here and that's what you're going to see once I've finished importing here if that finishes it's still going <clears throat> um wow we're 36 minutes oh that's the longest I've ever I've ever done and uh so that's um yeah so that's kind of how you do your blogs I mean blogging your wordpress and all that that's all pretty standard uh but let's just go back here and just see if that's gonna that's gonna finish pretty soon I'm sure uh, maybe I can show you some more of what my lead system pro is uh, when you go through my lead system Pro, you're going to see that if you click on here that's going to take you to an announcement article but also if you're right in here you can just click on this and it'll take you to the migration uh migration training which is just basically kind of what I'm talking about here right set up set up your own hosting account right so if I tap that <coughs> it opens up the video I can actually they talk they give you examples here right WP Engine SiteGround or click eCourse click eCourse is actually not a WordPress platform but it includes WordPress platform within the platform um, and see as you can see this is $3.95 a month uh, some of the sites are more um, and that's not too bad right four bucks a month obviously but um I'm already building something and I need it for other reasons so I just decided I'm going to include this as part of the platform because I need it for me so that's what I did so then of course when you go through all this there's all these different trainings um there's next next right down here at the bottom right you just click on the next what am I sharing a screen hopefully I am yes okay good <laughs> oh and you can't even see let me make myself smaller there you go so down here there's a setup hosting the next one you click on that takes you to the next training so if you go through this if you've actually set up your own uh completely if you've been using uh, wordpress and and mlsp sites for a lot obviously you're going to know lots of this stuff or at least it's going to be clear when you go through its technical its technical um training uh, but he does a really good job I, I went through it and that's kind of how I was able to do my migration right uh, but there you go okay it's finished so the migration you'll see things like this um that that gives you some invalid post types and things like that I wouldn't worry too much about it unless it's specific but the cool thing about it is you can actually delete your blog post your blog and re-import it again if you want right you can start from scratch that's the cool thing about it until you get it all working because this might just be because you have a plugin that you didn't install in my case I don't even know uh, what it is and I I don't think I care um and in the end I can always fix it as you can see it's just a few so even if it is something I can probably redo it manually anyways okay so now that my blog post is set up if I reload the page <clears throat> you're going to see all my posts are there right now they're not the, that's not the look that I want so I'm going to go back in here and I'm going to go into my appearance in my themes and I'm actually going to install that news theme that I want under popular um mm, 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 it's new something right I forget what it was the, I think it's this one news ever no it's not news ever yeah but there it is this one here so I'm going to install this theme news up news up 
is the one that I have here and then I'm going to activate it so now as soon as it's activated it becomes my theme if I go back to my blog and I reload it now I have the new the new, the new layout now there's things I want to change I don't want this to be this way uh, I don't want all this over here so now what did I do is I went in here I went in the customize first the widgets in the widgets um I want to have uh, that's not what I want I'm, I actually manager's live preview is going to be easier because this is so if I go in here then I go into my widgets sidebar widget I don't want the archives in there I don't want the categories I don't want the meta nobody needs to know how to log in or anything recent comments sure recent posts I don't need that because they have them on top search I don't need that it's in part of the menu as well so I'm going to remove that and I also I think I added the video in here a couple of the things that I had on mine but that's basically the side widget right on the side here right as you can see there's nothing there now except for the recent comments so that's good the footer area has nothing I guess I could add things in there uh, what else then if I go to the menus now I want to change the menus right because the menus right now is all this it's like kind of crazy menu right so I want to go into the top the primary menu I want it to be the top it's gonna re refresh it now I've got just the stuff I used to have on my old page I could probably and then the footer menu I want the footer menu obviously which contains my privacy policy legal and all that right okay so now if I go to now I want to edit the menu right so the menus uh the top menu I don't need a custom I don't need this I want to remove that one because there's already on their on their page on this this theme there's already like a home whoops there's already a home button there that I don't need to put home there so I got that out of there okay now I'm just going to publish this <clears throat> and then when I go back to here and I reload this now you'll see that I have this menu now and I have this on the side here and this is kind of moving with the so I got the different blog posts here okay so there's something else there was there something else anyways that's kind of the basics right the start of it so now I have my new blog post now the next thing I want to do is I want to fix my domain so I want to actually go and make this my own domain so I'm going to change that to Jean Serge Gagnon com so that'll be my domain that I want this to be as but before I can do that I got to go actually change my I got to go change the actual domain so let's go back here to my zone edit <coughs> and I got to go into my domain this is obviously depending on your domain provider but in my case I go through here and then I just change so that the Jean Serge Gagnon default instead of going to the MLS MLSP sites it goes to click ecourse.com with a dot so that'll make it go to that instead so now <clears throat> I just save that make sure that's updated now there's you know that might not be instantaneous uh the, because sometimes it takes a bit to to for DNS records to be updated they actually tell you that always right they always say it takes a couple hours potentially uh, the world may have time you know three hours whatever right so now if I go back to here and I click on this uh instead of taking me to my old site I uh, see it's still going to this uh so let's see if my uh incognito is going to use the new site or not mm -mm, I'm not sure yeah so it's still the old see the old dv that's because the dns hasn't been updated yet uh, but as soon as it's updated I don't know if there's a way can I show you maybe I can show you here if I go to let's just share this over here too if I go to Jean Serge Gagnon here is that going to take me to the new one no now it's still taking me to the it's actually taking me to to oh that's because um sorry I my debug environment has it set up that way that's not the right one I would have to go to say this one maybe so this is this is not a debug environment but if I reload this page now as you can see this is the old uh, domain right here if I reload this page is it going to work 
no it's still showing the old out anyways that takes a bit it can take an hour but the thing is that the domain will eventually update and you'll see your new site on the same domain unfortunately this is not uh this is not what I was hoping for for the demo but that's how you change the domain name you just change that and the cool thing about this is that you actually well depending on well yeah I have to set up the secure HTTPS there but yeah you got to set that up you got to set up a, a, a SSL certificate and all that to have the secure version of it right because HTTP will work if I change this to HTTP maybe that'll be better just do this is that gonna work no still my old uh, still the old one okay so anyways that's basically how you migrate from from MLS, MLSP from my lead system pro wordpress MLSP sites to your own wordpress and uh hopefully on Click eCourse so if you have any questions of course let me know go to clickecourse.com set up your account and go to your account and click on blog and create your blog site and my, do the migration if you have any questions let me know until next time we'll see you in the next episode this has been Course Income Secrets, the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon, until next time.